We got them both bark rocks. They're so sweet. I imagine we'll have these as friendly as our other ones before long. Uh oh, they're gonna go interrupt Goldie while she's taking her bath. I hope not. She's mean. She'll jump on them. As big as our barred rocks are, she's still bigger than they are. But man, she's been bathing for she's been bathing for about 15 minutes now or more. She just ain't giving it up yet. What is it, honey? Y'all just keep following me. What is it, baby? What is it? I know you don't want me to pet you. That's what my other girls do, though. They'll come over and uh, they'll just stand on our feet, walk around and peck for bugs and everything else. You just reach down and pet them. These, if you try to pet them right now, they just kind of run away. And, of course, we have our little rabbit friend over there still. Let me see. He's a little bit further now. He started off about 15 to 20 feet. Now he's a little bit more than that. He's just over there eating all them nice greens. And, of course, everything's edible in the yard and good and safe. We don't. We don't spray our yard or anything. So even if I had bugs on my garden plants, I wouldn't be spraying them, so. But yeah, it's just peaceful out here watching all of them. Bad thing is, is our roo is starting to jump on our girls and they hadn't even started laying yet but they've all started squatting and kind of sticking their tail feathers up when you you know come up on them and of course with him you know reaching that maturity level say everybody's almost about ready so that means we're gonna have um 11 hens laying so that means I think maybe, I'm going to say maybe about 8 to 11 eggs a day after everybody starts laying and everybody gets good and on a schedule. So after that happens, we're probably going to have more eggs that we can eat and we'll start selling them a lot more. So right now we're selling ours um, just to a couple of people um, doing $4 an 18 pack, but it just depends on how much the demand is and we'll kind of go go by market value and see how everything is it's not really to make a profit um we do supplement um supplement their food and stuff so we buy scratch and um scratch and grains and um lay and crumble and oyster shell and stuff like that plus we feed them their own eggs um when we can it's just with summertime right now and having to heat them up and bake them in the oven um for as long as you have to it's kind of like not whatever red's getting after little girls you see so they're gonna have to just learn their place everybody say so red and goldie and they're the they're the oldest girls here so They're just going to have to learn. So, yeah. That's my girls. Let me see if I can get one more look at the... Oh, he's already... He's laying down over there. He ain't standing up eating no more. He's just laying down, chilling. So, he knows that ain't nothing going to get him over here. So, maybe red... Evidently, Red was in a standoff with one of our cats around here earlier, Emily said. I don't know if she was going to try to jump on it or make friends with it. So, yeah, I'm talking about you. 
Yeah, I'm talking about you. Come here. What is it, baby? What is it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. She's going to have to shake it off, probably. Oh, no. She didn't shake it off. Okay. I'll see y'all later.